Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making a super easy and delicious mint chocolate trifle. This is sort of a fun dessert to make for St. Patrick's Day because it's green and festive looking, but honestly, you'll enjoy eating it any day of the year. It's that good. For this mint chocolate trifle, you're going to need a chocolate cake. I just used one from a box and I baked it according to the package directions and you want it to cool completely. Then you're going to need three cups of chilled heavy whipping cream, three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar, and I like to sift mine so I don't get any little clumps in there. You'll also need about half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. I may be using a little bit more, but I'm gonna taste and see when I get to that point. You'll also need a few drops of green food coloring, and that's it for the trifle. But I'm going to be garnishing with some fresh mint leaves from my garden because right now it's growing so beautifully. I'm looking for any excuse to use them. Uh, later in the summer, once we start getting those extreme temperatures, it starts to look really scraggly. So right now that it's this beautiful, I'm using it. I'm also going to be uh, putting in some chocolate shavings on top. So, but again, this part is optional. I've got a glass trifle dish. Now, if you don't have one, maybe you can use some really pretty glasses that you have, and that works out real nicely as well because then you can have them in individual servings, but it's entirely up to you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm first going to take one of these baked cakes and crumble it up in my food processor. You can do this by hand or you can use a fork, but a food processor makes it really easy. Then I'm going to place the first half of the cake into the bottom of my trifle dish. Then I'll crumble up the second half and just set it aside for now. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to take the chilled heavy cream and beat it until smooth with my electric can mixer. When it starts to look frothy, I'll add in the powdered sugar and continue mixing until it forms peaks. This looks perfect. I'm going to set a little of this aside in a small bowl because I want to put a few dollops of whipped cream on top when I'm done. And now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of peppermint extract to the rest of this cream mixture, along with some green food coloring. And you always want to add a few drops at a time so you don't overdo the color. Just mix and adjust as necessary. I ended up adding about 10 drops to get my desired shade of green. Then you'll want to taste to see if it needs more mint. That's a perfect amount of mintiness. And now that our mint cream looks and tastes how we like it, we're ready to assemble. Pour half of this mixture over the first layer of chocolate cake crumbles and using a rubber spatula, spread it out evenly, making sure it gets all the way to the sides of the glass. Add the second half of the cake crumbles on top of the mint layer, spreading it as evenly as possible. Then follow it up with the rest of the mint cream that's in the bowl. Again, spread it across as smoothly as possible. And now I'll take the plain whipped cream and using a pastry bag, I'll place a few dollops all around the top. I'll take some of these fresh mint leaves and use them for garnish. Mm -hmm. 
finally, I'll take the chocolate and shave it with my potato peeler. And I'll sprinkle the chocolate shavings on top for the perfect finishing touch. This mint chocolate trifle is so beautiful to look at and it's this fresh, minty, chocolatey deliciousness. Light and creamy, it's a dessert your family is sure to love. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, why not do it now? It doesn't cost you a thing, but that way you don't miss any one of my recipes. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I also invite you to follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours.